Hey, what's up, guys? Sebastian here from GreenMusicProductions.com. Today, I'm here with another really cool plugin called Enforcer by Boom Libraries. Now, Boom Libraries are known for their sound effects libraries, but they're doing an amazing job with their plugins so far. They also have another plugin called Turbine. I might make a video about it later, so make sure you subscribe to this channel and stay up to date. So, Enforcer is basically a trigger, but instead of using samples like every other triggers, it uses synthesis. So it can really make some punchy and clean low end. It can also emphasize uh, snare body, snare snap. It can beef up any sound effects with a minimum of transient. So it's really powerful. So you have all the settings that you find on a synth, like all the oscillator types. Uh, you have envelopes for pitch, for amplitude, and for the oscillator color. You also have a ducking mode. And you obviously have all the trigger settings to detect the right transient. So here I have a drum loop and it's a bit dirty. It's a stereo file, so I don't have all of the drum parts on separate tracks. So let's listen to it. As you can see, it's a bit dirty, it's roomy. Um, so what I want to do is try to enhance that kick drum. The plugin comes with a lot of really good presets. So uh, you have categories here, for music drums, you can find some kick enhancing categories, orchestral stuff, uh, snare. If you go into music effects, you have analog, i-hat, crash, ride, tom, all kinds of stuff, really cool stuff actually. Uh, all the presets sounds really good. Uh, the music kicks is basically to replace your kick if you want. Uh, you have 808, uh, hip hop, pop, EDM, all kinds of uh, electronic kick drums. You also have some sound effects stuff uh, like big whoosh, leisure sounds, foley. So if you want to enhance footsteps, you also have some sweeteners for low frequencies and transients. And you can also enhance weapons like explosions, machine guns, guns. So I'll dive into drums, weapons and explosions here and you'll see how easy it is to get really good results and to emphasize on what you're looking for. The first thing we're going to look at is the trigger section where we will detect the part that we need into that drum loop and we'll try to enhance only the kick drum. So let's try that. So right now it's just the basic preset and it's detecting the snares as well as the kick drum. So what we need to do is uh, use the filter and audition to try to focus on the kick drum frequency first. Now as you can see we don't see the snare as much and the kicks are really easy to find. Um, What's really nice is we also have a scale uh, slider here. So we can make the gap between the transient a lot bigger or we can make it smaller if we want. The release will basically make the transient drop faster to make it easier for us. So if I put the release higher, then it's going to be harder to detect just the snare. So for stuff with a lot of transient, it's a good idea to lower the release. Um, now there are two sections to the uh, detector, uh, there's the upper threshold and the lower threshold. So uh, this is to make sure it's not re-triggering really fast. So the plugin will trigger the oscillator once the signal reaches the upper threshold and it won't re-trigger until it went under the lower threshold. So really straightforward, but since we're using the filter here, it's really easy to only focus on the kick drum. So now if we remove the audition to go back to what the plugin is actually doing, we can already hear that the kick drum is getting beefed up by the plugin. Let's bypass it. Put it back on. Really cool. I'm going to copy that to preset B to make sure we keep that. And we're going to try some kick presets. Let's try the first one, kick with acoustic replacer. Let's bypass it. Wow. Really cool. Let's browse through the presets, uh, see which one fits better with this.
Now, this one is ducking the original kick a lot. Uh, you have to click on the Expert tab right here, and you can see the gain of the ducking, the filter to focus on a certain frequency, and the envelope. So I'm going to reduce the gain because it's ducking way too much, and I'm going to reduce the output gain to make sure it's not clipping. Cool, but not the best in my opinion. We also have a dry and wet signal, so I'm gonna make it wetter just to hear what the plugin is actually triggering. This is really nice to add low end, I really like that. Now, this section right here, the pitch section, uh, you can choose the low oscillator frequency and the high oscillator frequency. So what it's doing is it's using the envelope here. It starts with the low frequency. In this case, right now it's set to note modes. So if you want to tune the kick drum you're working on, you can assign a note to the kick drum. And if you want to see the frequency instead, you just remove the musical mode and you can see the frequency. So right now what it's doing, it's starting at 37 hertz. It reaches the high pitch after 36 milliseconds, and then it goes back down to the original low pitch. So you can put it at a crazy range if you want, and it's gonna do a, a laser sound effect, but this is not what we're looking for here. Um, I remember when I was in college, I learned this trick of uh, triggering a sine wave in like 45 hertz on a kick drum to beef it up. That was really cool, but it's not enough since it's just a static sine wave. So I could hear that something weird was happening in the low end. But since Enforcer is also moving the pitch with the envelope, moving the amplitude, it's also following the amplitude of the audio source. It's way more natural and it's super good. Now let's listen to the B preset again. B is a bit more punchier, I think I prefer B. Let's put it to bypass. On again. Really cool stuff. Uh, you can get some amazing results really fast with that. So now let's move on to a second drum loop that I have here. Now I, I only put the settings really fast to deep hop, so so it's doing a pretty good job already. It's just putting some low end to that kick. It's doing a really good job. I like that. Let's try other kick presets for this. Now these presets are into the music kicks, so it's trying to replace the original kick drum. So it's going to use some ducking a bit more to reduce the original kick drum and put on the new kick that Enforcer generates. You can always tweak the ducking here by reducing the gain and the playing with the filter. You can also reduce the dry wet signal if you want to keep more of the original signal. that. So there's a lot of really creative and really cool stuff that you can do. We can also work on the snare if we want. Let's try that real fast. Uh, let's set up the trigger so it detects the snare. So we'll go back into the trigger filter, put it to audition just to hear the frequency. This seems pretty good. You see how easy it is to just detect the right frequency of the section you're looking for. And now if we remove the audition, 
it's triggering a kick instead so that's not what we want we want to emphasize the snare now let's try the different snare presets now this is a rim and answer really cool stuff Now let's say I like that preset, but I don't like the frequency, I can move it around. Just like that, I added some body to that snare. That's really cool. I really like that. So as you can see, it's super powerful and easy to use. Uh, let's go to a machine gun now. Let's get into sound effects. Uh, let's listen to that machine gun with the plug-in bypass. Now, there are some machine gun presets and they all sound really good depending on what you're looking for. If you just want to add some really low frequencies or if you want to add some buddy to that machine gun. So let's listen to this preset right here, machine gun clean kick. Wow. Let's listen to it bypassed again. Wow. <laughs> this, this is night and day in my opinion. Let's put it back on. Now I tried another preset on B, it's actually the same preset, but I tweaked the envelope a little bit to emphasize the low end a bit more on the frequency. That's really good. Uh, let's listen to some presets. So this is the first preset, let's listen to the second. Oh yeah, this emphasized the knock of the machine gun, really cool. This is more for sub really deep sub huh this is interesting it adds a noise to it so if you're you have a fake machine gun that's too clean you can add some noise to it I think this one is pretty good let's lower the lower frequency a bit more. let's bypass it Wow, this is really good. I like that. Uh, now let's go to an explosion sound. Let's bypass the plugin first. Pretty standard explosion. Uh, let's load Enforcer. I just put explosion drop. Hmm, as you can hear, it has a lot of low end and it does a drop to it, so it makes it a bit more fun. Let's browse those presets. Let's go into SFX weapon and browse the drop preset. Hmm. This is to add snap. Let's listen to the wet signal. Huh. So it's just the main transient. That's really cool. And what's really nice is you can layer the enforcers to focus on different things. So let's try to do that. Let's layer two enforcers. One for that knock sound here. And the second one is going to emphasize the click. High snap. So if we bypass them, bring them back on. Let's try another one, this one right here. So with both enforcers on, now bypass. <laughs> it's really cool and really creative what you can do with it. For drum 
loops like this where you only have a stereo file you can do the same thing you can layer them you can have one emphasizing on the kick drum you use the audition to put the frequency to focus on the kick drum and you put another one that focuses on the snare so you can really clean up a stereo drum loop that sounds bad or that sounds uh, lo-fi or roomy or and it's really clean since it's not using samples but it's using synthesis so you can play around the different settings I really like that I'll leave a link to their website in the description and uh, as always if you like that video click that like button and subscribe and see you guys in the next video bye guys